Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you my top five favorite applications that give you free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, pay-per-view, and much more. That's right. I'm going to walk you through step by step everything it is that you're going to need to know so that you too can enjoy all of your favorite entertainment absolutely free. All right, guys. Well, if you're ready to learn, let's begin. All right, so you're ready to learn how to get my top five favorite applications when it comes to giving you free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, pay-per-view, and much more. In order to get all of this started, the first thing that we need to do is download one application from the Amazon App Store. The easiest way to do that is simply push left on your remote until you're on that magnifying glass. Push down one time, you'll be on the search bar, and when you click your center button, It'll bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whichever application it is that you're looking for. Today, we're looking for an application called Downloader. I'll throw it on the screen as I begin to spell it. Now guys, I've only entered the very first letter. It's already appeared on the screen. There's no need to type out all of it. All you need to do is slide down, highlight right there where it says Downloader and click your center button. It's gonna take you right here to this bright orange app. Let's go ahead and click our center button. Now it's gonna give us the option to install this on our device. All you have to do again is click the center button, the download process begins. Then once the download is finished, it's gonna go through the installation. And then once that is finished, it will say open. But guys, we don't want to open this app just yet. We're just waiting until it says open. Give it just a second and you'll see as it pops up here on my screen, just like that. Once you see that, go ahead and click your home button on your remote. The next thing that we need to do is go into our settings and change just one setting. And the easiest way to do that is simply slide all the way to the right till you're in the settings. And this little menu appears on the bottom half of your screen. We're going to slide down and we're going to click on my fire TV. Now, right here, you'll notice I have developer options on my screen. If for any reason your screen does not have developer options, all you need to do is simply slide up, click right here where it says about, then it's gonna highlight whichever device that you have. I have the Fire TV Stick 4K. Once highlighted right there, click the center button on your remote eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll get a little pop-up on the bottom that says that you are a developer or no need because you are already a developer. So now that you've done that, click the back button on the remote. And now you should have developer options here on this screen. What we want to do is slide down and click on developer options and slide down and click where it says install unknown apps. And as you can see, downloader is currently turned off. We just want to click our center button and turn it on just like that. All right, now we just click our home button on our remote. The next thing that we need to do is go and find the downloader application that we just installed on our device. And the easiest way to find any of your applications is simply slide over into that icon right there and click your center button. It's gonna take you to every app that you have ever installed on your device. Slide down because the last app always goes to the very bottom. And as you can see right here is the bright orange downloader app we just installed. Let's go ahead and open that up. You'll get a little pop up. Just click your center button and that'll go away. And guys, welcome to the downloader app. This app allows you to go along the internet to almost any website it is that you would like to visit. All you need to do is push up on your remote one time and click your center button. And again, it's going to bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whatever web address it is that you would like to go to. Today, we're going to one site in particular, and I'll go ahead and throw that on the screen as I enter it.
All right, so please check your spelling. Make sure everything is correct. Once it is, we're going to go ahead and click right there where it says go. Now, when this screen appears, you'll see this little red circle. And if I push up and down and left and right on the remote, you'll see I can move that cursor. What we want to do is move that cursor down a little bit, and we're looking for that block right there that says download APK Android. Just put that little red cursor on that block anywhere and click your center button. The download process begins automatically. As soon as the download is finished, it's going to ask for you to install. Simply slide over, click the word install. Give your system just a few seconds. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure we click done. When we click done, it brings us right back here. And this right here is just the installation file. We no longer need this right here taking up room on our device. So we're going to slide over and click delete. We're going to slide over and click delete. And guys, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and click our home button one more time. All right, so really quickly, before we go and open that app, there's one more setting that we need to change. So remember, to get to your settings, you just slide all the way over to the very right into that tab. We're going to come down here. We're going to click on My Fire TV. Again, we want to click on Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and now we also have to turn on Unlinked. So let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, so now that we have that turned on, we can go ahead and click our Home button on our remote. Now we need to go and find that brand new app that we just downloaded. And remember just a few moments ago, to find all of your apps, you simply slide over onto that icon and click your center button. It brings up all the apps. And like I mentioned before, all of the new apps always go to the bottom. So let's go all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, right next to the downloader app that we installed, we have the brand new Unlinked app. Let's go ahead and open this up. And right here is going to say Add a New Library. Click your center button. Click your center button one more time. And again, it's going to bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whatever code it is that you would like to enter. Now, guys, I have spent a lot of my time and effort creating this store, making it up to date, only choosing the very best applications for my viewers only. And the only thing I ask in return is that you're kind enough to hit that subscribe button. That tells me thank you for all of the hard work that I've put in to keeping this store up to date with the very best applications for you guys. All right, so now that you are a subscriber, I'll go ahead and throw the code on the screen so that we can enter it together. All right, so now that you have that code entered, go ahead and click right there where it says next. And guys, here you can see the top five applications that I recommend and what, what each app is best for in its own category. All right, so let's go ahead and click the center button on our remote. All right, guys, so when you enter my store, all you need to do is click the center button on your remote. It'll bring up a folder. Click on that folder. It'll break my store into different categories. Then simply slide down on your remote until you're in the top recommended apps category. Guys, here is my top five favorite applications for you. So all you need to do is simply highlight whichever application it is that you would like to download from my store and click your center button. Now you'll have the option to download this on your device. Simply click your center button and the download process begins. As soon as the download is finished, it's going to ask for you to go through the installation. Once the download is finished, simply click the install app. Give your system just a few seconds, slide over and click on the word install. As soon as the installation is finished, it'll pop you right back into the store. All right, let's go ahead and do the next application. We'll go ahead and highlight that, click our center button, click download. And when the download's finished, click install app. Slide over and click install. Now that the installation's finished, it's put us right back into the store. Let's keep going. We only got a couple more. We're going to click download. Then we're going to click install app. 
We're going to slide over and click install. And we got two more apps to go. Let's go ahead and click on that one. Click download. Click install. Slide over, click install. And let's download that last application. Let's go ahead and click on it. Download and install. Again, slide over and click install. All right, guys, so we have just downloaded my top five recommended applications. You have the best all around app, the best app for keeping you safe and secure, the best app for pay per view, the best app for movies and TV shows, and the last one is the best for live television. All right, so let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. So now again, what we need to do is go find all of those applications that we just downloaded. Let's go all the way over to that icon and click on it. Again, it brings up all of our apps and the newest apps are always at the bottom. And guys, here are all of the applications that we just installed. So what I would like for you to do is simply highlight any of these applications and click those three dashes just to the right of the home button on your remote. When you do, a little menu just like that will appear. And if you click your center button, you'll be able to move this application and put it wherever you like. So let's go ahead and click move. And if I push to the right one time, it brings it all the way to the top. And if I click the center button, it'll drop it there. All right, let's do that a few more times. So we're gonna go on to the bottom of the app. We're gonna click on one of those apps that we just installed. We're gonna click those three dashes. It's gonna bring up the menu. We're gonna click our center button and move this app. We're gonna to click to the right and bring it up to the top and click the center button to drop it. All right, I'm gonna do this a few more times. All right, so you can move these applications around in any order that's gonna work best for you. But I wanna show you what moving all of these brand new apps to the very top of this list does for your device. So let's go ahead and click the home button on your remote. So right here from the home screen where you're at all the time, you have easy access to all of those applications. This icon right there, that is my store. If you wanna go back and try out a brand new app or get an update to one of your existing apps, now you're gonna have easy access right here from your home screen to do that. This is the IPVanish VPN. It is by far my number one recommended application when keeping you 100% safe and secure while enjoying all of your entertainment absolutely free. So before we open or check out any of those other applications that you've downloaded, the first thing that we need to do is turn our VPN on. So let's go ahead and open this together. Now right here, it's gonna ask you for a username and a password. Now, if for any reason that you don't already have a username and password, I'm gonna make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is visit this link right here. I'm also gonna leave the, a link down below this video in the description and pinned in the comment section. So all you need to do is click on one of those links. It's gonna take you to the IPVanish website. There, you'll be able to pick out whichever plan works best for you. Once you do, they're gonna give you your very own username and password so that you too can sign in. I'm gonna sign in and I'll meet you on the next screen. All right, so as soon as you see this, simply push down and click OK. All right, guys, welcome to the IPVanish VPN. Now, really quickly, what we need to do is set our location. So simply push down on your remote and then over until you highlight where it says locations and click your center button. This will allow you to pick whichever country and whichever server it is that you would like to connect your VPN to. Now you can go through and pick whichever one that you want, or you can simply just come up to the top and click right here where it says optimal location and let IPVanish pick the best server for you. That's what I do, so I'm just gonna click connect, and I'm gonna slide over and click connect. Give your system just a few seconds, 
And as soon as you see the country light up in green, you know that you are connected. And it also says connected right here. Now that I'm connected to my VPN, I can go and open any of those amazing applications that we might have downloaded today. So let's go ahead and hit our home button. And guys, I want you to check out all of these applications. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Then not only about these apps, but about the video, the store. And please, if anything's not working, I would love to hear so in the comments so that I can get it repaired as quickly as possible so that you guys will only have the best applications that are always working 100% and absolutely free. All right, guys. Well, if you have not done so already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell if you want to have a notification every time I release a new video. Give me a thumbs up and please send this to a friend so that they too can enjoy all of this entertainment absolutely free, just as you are. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing you again real soon in the next video.